Hello and welcome to another episode of Sort Out MRCOG. In this video, let's sort out hematological variables in pregnancy. You know how Sort Out MRCOG lessons work. We sort out information into categories. Here, we will sort out hematological variables into those that go up in pregnancy, those that go down in pregnancy, and those that remain the same as pre-pregnancy state. As always, I insist that you go first. So here are a bunch of variables. Have a good look at them and sort them out, and then we will do it together. Great, let's work through these variables and work out what goes up, what goes down, and what remains the same. So what goes up? Blood volume goes up. Plasma volume goes up by about 40 to 50 percent. Red blood cell volume or mass goes up by about 20 percent. White cell count goes up. Fibrinogen level goes up by about 50 percent. And clotting factors like factor 8, 9 and 10 go up. What goes down? Well, hemoglobin concentration goes down and we often refer to this as physiological anemia. Red blood cell count goes down, hematocrit goes down, there is some debate about platelet but it seems to go down, antithrombin level goes down, protein S goes down and blood viscosity goes down. What doesn't change? MCV, MCHC, APTT and PT do not change. Let me try to explain some of these changes. Now the blood volume goes up in pregnancy. This increase involves a rise in plasma volume as well as in red cell and white cell volumes. However, while the plasma volume increases by about 40 to 50 percent, the red cell volume increases by only 15 to 20 percent, which is why we get physiological hemodilution or physiological anemia of pregnancy. This explains the fall in red blood cell count, hemoglobin concentration, hematocrit, and blood viscosity. The mean corpuscular volume, MCV, and mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration, MCHC, are, however, not affected. Pregnancy is associated with a hypercoagulable state, which is why pregnant women are more likely to have a DVT or PE. So, it will not surprise you to find out that there is an increase in procoagulation factors, including fibrinogen and clotting factors 7, 8, 9 and 10. On the other hand, there is a fall in concentrations of endogenous anticoagulants such as antithrombin and protein S. Despite all these changes in coagulation factors, there is no change in APTT or PT. So that is hematological changes in pregnancy sorted. See you in Birmingham at the ACE MRCOG weekend.